You may know this guy. He became famous, or perhaps infamous, for this quip. Are you, are you afraid of getting coronavirus? Of course not. I drink rum. And I saw the land. And that's why you probably won't recognize him in this studious role, where he's the all-around help at downtown eatery Rustic Corner. Sure, the patrons do rib him for his notoriety, as the man who proposed rum as the coronavirus antidote. Well, to the public views, they love me. And they will always love me no matter what. Because I'm always Mr. Sutherland. I'm Harry Sutherland, a.k.a. the doctor, right? But the doctor is not what the owner of Rustic Corner saw in him. But my personal small-time experience with him, he has shown to have a good character. He's a hard-working person. Um, he's willing and eager to do anything. I see him out here in the street. This COVID-19 has been a, a bad thing for everyone. Um, one of the main things that captured me is um, when, I, when we finally get the chance to open up the restaurant and I decided to do a pressure washing of the entire place, um, Sutherland was the one who'd come and say, hey, can I do that for you, please? Can I do that for you? Again, he never asked for anything. At that moment, I said, you know what? This guy is always around. He's always trying to assist me in anything that I do. So I said, you know what? Let me give him a little part-time job. I know things is bad, things is hard. Let me see if, you know, I could help him out with that. And having him around has helped out his restaurant. And Sutherland has a gift in order to make people feel, you know, joyful and happy. So every time, you know, he's here and someone sees him, they recognize him from that comment. And they will say, oh, Sutherland, Sutherland, they want an autograph, they want pictures with him and all that stuff. And I told him I don't want that in my establishment. I'm sorry, I don't want to encourage that, you know, and because I, I see that most people are using it as a, like a joke thing and not more of a, you know, something else that is beyond that, you know, and that he is on work, he is working, he's doing a great job, he's not drinking no alcohol, he's not abusing any alcohol, he's not abusing any kind of substances. And he's trying to uplift himself and to make that into a show, especially here at my establishment, I find it offensive. I could cope with that man. No drinking on the job, that's a job. I have to do my job. Customers go first and the customers is always right, no matter what. So if Mr. Kirk said no drinking on the job, is no drinking period on the job. After the job, I still drink my Liban man, pan, you know. But apart from that, there's no drinking on the job. And while those are the rules, Managing his fame is also a balancing act. Every time he greets the customers, he makes sure they're okay, he wants to make sure that they have what they need, he wipes down the table. He's always doing assistance stuff and people would try to talk to him and ask him for, for information about his comment that he did before. And, and he asked me, always asked me if it's okay boss that I can do that. And I said, so long, as long as you're not disturbing the, the customers and the customers don't find offensive that you're talking to them, I don't want you to approach the customers in that way. I want the customers to feel comfortable. But to be honest, all the customers, they want to talk to him and, and, and spend time getting information from him. No doubt, Sutherland is an attraction and part of the restaurant's appeal. That's what Aaron Wilson saw yesterday when he was at the restaurant to witness an impromptu meeting of the memes. When I make that, um, when I had the two of them sat together and take the picture it was for um, Sutherland to advise when cutters, you know. And when he may smile, he used to go through the same steps with cutters there. Like they would tell the hustle and thing and he grew up to be a big man. What catch me that when the man made tell when cutters not to drink rum like he, you know, take for him advice. So then I say, you know what, that, 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 one, that, that one good thing. And I just make the two and then take the picture together. And while he surely got celebrity status, he's here for hard work. When we arrived, he had just varnished these bar stools. I adjust to the situation. So Mr. Kirk said, change your ball. I could change your ball for Mr. Kirk. Mr. Kirk said, put down that tile. I could put down tile for Mr. Kirk. In fact, I think he works better than most workers who come in here that doesn't have any issues that people make fun of. He has more better um, workmanship than I've ever seen any other person did so far.